Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. This is Avid Max Tying Tuesdays, and today we're gonna to show you how to tie the ice cream cone Karana Mid. I'm using the U-Series hook. This is the 203 Umqua hook, it's similar to their 200R profile. It's got that straight eye on it and the elongated shank. And then we have a glass tires bead on it. We're using the white small tires bead here. And we're gonna use a Vivas thread. This is the ADOT Vivas thread in black. It's the E01 color profile. And then we're gonna rib out our fly here with a little bit of micro tubing in the blood red color. So let's get started. All right, so we got our U203 hook here in the vise. This is a 3X long hook. It's a curved hook with a straight eye. Gives a great profile. And then we have our small tires glass bead on there. Be aware with those tires glass beads that they're not all created equal. Some of them have just slightly different regular shapes to them. And so they won't all necessarily fit around your uh, hook gape, your hook bend there. So just find one that'll work for you. But using the small and this, this size, uh, you'll find one that'll work. So we just start our, start our thread there with some rock locking wraps. And then we're gonna come in and tie our tubing in right away. This is the micro tubing in the red. I like the micro tubing because you can wrap it in the full length of the body and then still keep a nice uh, slim profile for this chronomid pattern. So we'll, we'll pull it tight as we kind of wrap it back here. All the way to the back uh, toward the hook bend. Just like so. And then we're going to bring our thread back up and now I'm going to be real conscious about my thread wraps and try and cover up that hook shank nicely as that'll be the main body of our fly, the thread here. So right on up to the front and then we can half hitch and we'll throw our thread over on our bobbin cradle here to get ready to rib our fly. So I don't like to pull too tight. You want to keep nice tension on it, but I like to have that tubing kind of bubble up and have that nice ribbing feature as we open Palmer right on up to the front here. And we can capture that with our thread. This is a great still water pattern in the larger sizes here. If you got a lot of chronomid action going on on the water, it's also converse nicely to a river fly as a midge pupa in smaller patterns, maybe on a different profile hook. Uh, you can play around with it a little bit, do it in different colors. It's popular in this black with red ribbing. You can do it opposite red with uh, black ribbing and some different color variations there. Whip finished, just built up a nice little transition thorax there to our bead. Clip off our excess here. And that's all there is to your Karana Mid, Mid Pupa. Just gonna finish it off with a little bit of Zappy Gap here to make it nice and durable. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you have a fly you'd like to see us tie in the future, leave us a comment below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.